China's military development has long been a subject of global attention, with its advancements often raising concerns and speculation about its strategic goals. One of the latest revelations that have stirred international interest is the country's unveiling of new glide bombs. These advanced munitions have shocked military analysts worldwide due to their technological sophistication, potential strategic impact, and implications for regional and global power balances. Glide bombs represent a significant leap in China's already formidable military capabilities, underscoring the nation's growing ambitions in defense and security. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Glide bombs, as the name suggests, are aerial munitions designed to be dropped from aircraft and glide toward their targets using aerodynamic surfaces rather than relying solely on powered propulsion. This technology allows these bombs to achieve long-range precision strikes with exceptional accuracy. China's latest glide bombs not only reflect this growing prowess, but also hint at a desire to challenge and surpass Western military capabilities. What sets China's new glide bombs apart from previous versions is the level of control and precision they offer, thanks to advancements in guidance systems and materials. These weapons can be launched from a variety of platforms, including both manned and unmanned aircraft, making them versatile tools in modern warfare. One of the primary features of these new glide bombs is their extended range. Unlike traditional munitions, which rely on the velocity of an aircraft to reach their target, glide bombs can cover vast distances autonomously. This is achieved through advanced aerodynamic designs and the integration of sophisticated guidance systems. China's new bombs can reportedly glide over hundreds of kilometers, allowing them to strike targets deep within enemy territory without putting the launch platform at risk. This ability to strike from a distance is particularly significant in the context of the modern battlefield, where anti-aircraft defenses are becoming increasingly sophisticated. The range and precision of these bombs enable the Chinese military to engage high-value targets from a safe distance, reducing the risk to their forces. Beyond their impressive range, these new glide bombs are equipped with highly advanced guidance systems, which are a critical component of their accuracy. These systems integrate satellite navigation, inertial guidance, and in some cases, artificial intelligence algorithms, enabling the bomb to adjust its trajectory mid-flight and evade enemy defenses. This level of sophistication in targeting technology allows China to conduct surgical strikes on heavily defended installations, command centers, and other critical infrastructure. It also represents a significant challenge to traditional defense mechanisms, as these bombs can change their course unpredictably, making them difficult to intercept. The introduction of these glide bombs also speaks to China's broader military doctrine and its shift toward asymmetric warfare. While China has been modernizing its conventional forces, it has also been investing heavily in technologies that could give it an edge in specific strategic scenarios. The glide bombs are an example of this focus on developing capabilities that can offset the military advantages of traditional powers like the United States. In a conflict scenario, the ability to launch precision strikes from a distance without risking manned aircraft would give China a significant tactical advantage, especially in the context of its regional interests, such as the South China Sea or Taiwan Strait. The potential strategic uses of these glide bombs are vast. In the event of a conflict over Taiwan, for example, these bombs could be used to neutralize key military installations, communication hubs, and transportation networks, crippling Taiwan's ability to mount an effective defense. Moreover, these bombs could be used to target U.S. military assets in the region, such as bases in Japan or Guam further complicating the U.S. quote's ability to respond to Chinese military actions. The range and precision of these bombs mean that China could strike these targets with relative impunity, reducing the effectiveness of traditional defense systems like missile shields or anti-aircraft batteries. Another critical factor to consider is the potential for China to integrate these glide bombs into its unmanned aerial vehicle UAV programs. China has been aggressively developing and deploying drones for various military purposes, including reconnaissance, surveillance, and attack missions. By equipping UAVs with glide bombs, China could further enhance its ability to conduct precision strikes without risking human pilots. This could be particularly useful in contested airspace, where manned aircraft may be vulnerable to enemy defenses. With UAVs and glide bombs working in tandem, China could execute complex multi-layered attacks that overwhelm enemy defenses and achieve strategic objectives with minimal losses.
The development of these glide bombs has not only shocked the international community, but has also raised concerns about the potential for an arms race in the region. As China continues to push the envelope in military technology, neighboring countries, particularly Japan, South Korea, and India, may feel compelled to respond by bolstering their own military capabilities. This could lead to an escalation of tensions in the Asia-Pacific region, which is already a hotbed of geopolitical rivalry. Furthermore, the United States, as a key player in the region, may need to reassess its military strategies and investments to counter the growing Chinese threat. This could result in a significant shift in the global balance of power as nations scramble to develop countermeasures to China's new capabilities. One area where China's new glide bombs could have a profound impact is in anti-access-slash-area denial, a 2 ad strategies. A 2 ad is a military doctrine aimed at preventing or deterring an adversary from entering a specific area of strategic importance. China has been developing a 2 ad capabilities for years, particularly in the South China Sea, where it has established a network of military installations on artificial islands. These installations are designed to project power and deter foreign military presence in the region. The new glide bombs could be a crucial component of this strategy, allowing China to strike at enemy forces attempting to penetrate its defensive perimeter. By deploying these bombs from long-range platforms, China could create a formidable barrier that would be difficult for any adversary to breach. Another significant implication of China's glide bomb development is its potential impact on the broader arms trade and military-industrial complex. China has been increasingly assertive in the global arms market selling advanced military hardware to countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. The introduction of these new glide bombs could further enhance China's position as a leading arms exporter. Countries looking to modernize their military capabilities may turn to China for these advanced munitions, particularly if they are offered at a lower price point than comparable Western technologies. This could shift the dynamics of global arms sales, with China gaining greater influence over the military strategies and capabilities of other nations. The technological advancements embodied in China's glide bombs also raise broader questions about the future of warfare. As military technology continues to evolve, the nature of conflict is changing. Precision-guided munitions, drones, cyber warfare, and artificial intelligence are all transforming how wars are fought and won. China's new glide bombs are a clear example of this trend demonstrating that future conflicts may be characterized by long-range precision strikes that minimize the need for large-scale ground invasions or prolonged aerial campaigns. This shift toward more technologically driven warfare could reduce the human cost of conflict, but also increase the potential for devastating attacks on critical infrastructure and civilian populations. There are also significant geopolitical ramifications to consider. As China continues to enhance its military capabilities, it is likely to pursue a more assertive foreign policy, particularly in regions where it has strategic interests. The South China Sea, for example, is a critical area for China's economic and military ambitions, and the development of glide bombs could embolden China to take more aggressive actions to assert its territorial claims. Similarly, China's growing military power could have far-reaching consequences for its relationships with neighboring countries, including India and Japan. These nations may feel increasingly threatened by China's military advancements and could take steps to strengthen their own defense capabilities, leading to greater regional instability. The global response to China's glide bombs has been mixed. While some countries have expressed concern about the potential destabilizing effects of these new weapons, others have been more measured in their reactions. The United States in particular has closely monitored China's military developments and may seek to counter these advancements through increased investment in missile defense systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and other countermeasures. However, the introduction of glide bombs complicates traditional defense strategies as their ability to evade detection and interception makes them a particularly challenging threat. At the same time, China's development of glide bombs may also spur international efforts to regulate the use of such advanced munitions. Just as the development of nuclear weapons led to treaties aimed at controlling their proliferation, the rise of precision-guided munitions could prompt similar initiatives. However, achieving consensus on such measures would be difficult, 
Given the competitive nature of global military development and the varying strategic interests of different nations. Still, some experts argue that without international agreements, the continued development and deployment of these weapons could lead to a more dangerous and unpredictable global security environment. China's glide bombs also represent a potential challenge to the existing international order. The post-World War II era has been characterized by U.S. military dominance, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region. However, as China continues to develop and deploy advanced military technologies, it is increasingly positioning itself as a rival to U.S. power. The glide bombs are just one element of this broader trend, as China seeks to modernize its military and assert itself as a global power. This shift could have profound implications for global governance, as the balance of power between the U.S. and China continues to evolve. One significant consequence of the introduction of China's glide bombs is the potential transformation of air power doctrines. Air superiority has long been a cornerstone of modern military strategy, especially for countries like the United States, which has relied on its advanced air fleets to project power globally. Historically, air dominance has been achieved through superior fighter jets, bombers, and air defense systems. However, the development of glide bombs could undermine the traditional reliance on manned aircraft and change the calculus for future air campaigns. Glide bombs, with their long range and precision, could perform many of the roles traditionally assigned to manned aircraft, such as striking key targets deep within enemy territory. This shift could reduce the importance of traditional air superiority, as glide bombs can be launched from platforms that are outside the reach of enemy air defenses. Moreover, the integration of glide bombs with China's rapidly advancing drone technology could push air warfare into an entirely new paradigm. With the rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, equipped with glide bombs, the necessity of putting human pilots in harm's way diminishes. This creates an environment where air warfare can be conducted with a much lower human cost, shifting focus from protecting pilots to improving the capability and endurance of UAVs. China's glide bombs, when paired with drones, could also enhance the effectiveness of swarming tactics, where large numbers of unmanned vehicles are deployed in coordinated waves to overwhelm enemy defenses. The ability to launch precision-guided glide bombs from multiple autonomous drones simultaneously could make air defenses, even sophisticated ones, far less effective, allowing China to achieve air dominance without the traditional requirement of aircraft superiority. Another key factor to consider is how China's glide bombs fit into the broader concept of strategic deterrence. In military theory, deterrence is not just about the ability to wage war, but also about preventing adversaries from acting against one's interests through the credible threat of overwhelming retaliation. Historically, nuclear weapons have played a central role in strategic deterrence given their devastating power. However, as precision-guided munitions like glide bombs become more advanced and proliferated, they could begin to supplement or even replace nuclear weapons as tools of deterrence in certain situations. Precision-guided conventional munitions, especially when paired with long-range platforms like China's glide bombs, could offer a more flexible form of deterrence. Unlike nuclear weapons, which carry massive political and ethical constraints, conventional glide bombs could be used with less hesitation while still achieving strategic objectives with limited collateral damage. China's glide bombs could also have profound implications for its neighbors and regional power dynamics. Countries like Japan, South Korea, and India which already have complex relationships with China, may see the development of these bombs as a direct threat to their security. In response, these nations are likely to accelerate their own military modernization efforts, seeking to develop or acquire countermeasures to neutralize the threat posed by glide bombs. This could lead to a regional arms race, as countries seek to match China's capabilities or develop ways to mitigate their effectiveness. Japan, for instance, has already begun discussions about enhancing its long-range strike capabilities, and the development of glide bombs could further motivate these discussions, leading to a more militarized and tense East Asia. India, another regional rival of China, may also respond to the development of these weapons by bolstering its own conventional military forces. India and China have a long history of border disputes, and the introduction of glide bombs could shift the balance of power in favor of China in any future confrontation along their shared border. India has historically relied on its ground forces and ballistic missile systems to counter China's military advancements. 
but glide bombs represent a new and significant challenge. These bombs' ability to evade traditional missile defenses means India will need to invest in more sophisticated interception systems or develop its own long-range precision strike capabilities to maintain a credible deterrence against China. Furthermore, China's glide bombs are likely to influence global strategic alliances, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region. The U.S. has long been the primary security guarantor for many of China's neighbors, and the development of these advanced weapons could push those countries closer to the U.S. in search of security guarantees. For example, the U.S.-Japan alliance could be strengthened further as Japan seeks to ensure it has the backing of American military power in the face of China's growing capabilities. Similarly, countries like Australia, South Korea, and the Philippines may deepen their military ties with the U.S. as they seek to counterbalance China's growing power. The U.S., for its part, will need to reassess its military strategies in response to the development of glide bombs. The U.S. has long invested heavily in missile defense systems, such as the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System and Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD. These systems are designed to protect against ballistic missiles, but glide bombs pose a different type of challenge. Their ability to maneuver in mid-flight makes them difficult to detect and intercept, meaning the U.S. will likely need to develop new technologies and tactics to counter them effectively. This could include advancements in electronic warfare, laser-based interception systems, or other forms of directed energy weapons designed to neutralize glide bombs before they reach their targets. In addition to defense measures, the U.S. may also seek to develop its own version of glide bombs as part of an effort to maintain parity with China. While the U.S. already has some precision-guided munitions, such as the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, China's glide bombs represent a significant leap in range and maneuverability. The U.S. military will likely accelerate its research and development efforts to create next-generation glide bombs that can compete with China's new munitions. This could lead to a new era of precision-guided weapons, where the focus is not just on accuracy, but also on range, evasion, and survivability in contested airspace. In particular, the introduction of glide bombs signals a shift toward an era where precision and distance become paramount. These weapons allow a military to strike from afar with minimal risk to its own forces, making conventional defenses like anti-aircraft systems less effective. For countries looking to defend themselves against such threats, the challenge is substantial. Traditional systems designed to intercept missiles or planes may not be equipped to handle the unique flight characteristics of glide bombs. These weapons can change direction in mid-air, making them unpredictable and difficult to target. Consequently, this may push nations to invest in more advanced radar systems and missile defense technologies, including directed energy weapons or high-powered lasers, to effectively counter glide bombs. Additionally, the glide bomb's long range offers another strategic advantage by reducing the need for forward operating bases or staging areas close to enemy territory. This capability allows nations like China to maintain a strategic distance while still retaining the ability to strike with precision. This flexibility could reshape global military deployments, as traditional logistical and supply chains that support forward bases may become less critical. It also provides nations with the ability to protect their military assets, as fewer assets need to be positioned in vulnerable forward areas. Instead, forces can remain further back, relying on the extended reach of glide bombs to carry out their missions. Moreover, glide bombs could play a significant role in geopolitical flashpoints that involve maritime or island territories. For China, which is involved in multiple territorial disputes in the South China Sea, the glide bombs could become a pivotal tool in asserting control over contested waters. These bombs, launched from aircraft far from enemy defenses, could neutralize naval assets or coastal installations without the need for direct engagement, thereby allowing China to enforce its claims with limited direct conflict. This would be particularly relevant in the case of contested regions like Taiwan or the Spratly Islands where China's ability to project power without a full-scale confrontation could tip the balance of power in the region. Additionally, the glide bomb's development could trigger a new wave of military research in autonomous systems, as these munitions could eventually be integrated with artificial intelligence AI, technologies that allow them to operate with greater autonomy. AI integration could enable glide bombs to make real-time decisions on flight adjustments 
or even target selection, further complicating defense efforts. This development reflects a broader trend in military technology, where autonomy and AI are playing increasingly central roles in decision-making processes on the battlefield. As glide bombs evolve, their ability to operate independently, without constant human oversight, could revolutionize warfare by introducing an element of machine-driven decision-making, raising ethical questions as well as strategic ones. The development of China's glide bombs highlights a shift toward the future of warfare, where precision range and technological superiority redefine military capabilities. These advancements will likely spur further innovation, particularly in defensive technologies designed to counteract them, and may reshape regional power dynamics, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region. As countries adjust to the changing landscape, the full ramifications of these glide bombs on global military strategy and alliances remain to be seen, but it is clear that China's advancements in this area will have far-reaching consequences. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on this development? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.